Watch this. <laughs> Dude, I, I mean... <laughs>、Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to the video. In today's episode of GC to SSL, we're starting off at 1609 in 3v3. Last episode, I think we finished off in like the 1720s or something like that. And、uh, ever since then, we had, we had one bad day where we de ranked a ton, didn't have the, the best、uh, streak there. So we're trying to get back. Happens, you know, happens to all of us sometimes. You derank, and、uh, yeah, now you know it even happens to, to people on YouTube,、it、happens to everybody, bro. So let's get back into the games and start ranking back up. All right, game number one 3v3 Urban Central. Let's go. Who we got? We got B and Calm Cheetah 833. Let's get it. Teammate's not cheating, or teammate is cheating, so I'll go for the boost. Challenge this. Close. Gotta rotate out so my teammate has the confidence to be able to push up. Bump him off that mid boost. Forces him to go back to our corner. This is open if we shoot on target. Nice. <laughs> okay. So I kept that guy off the mid boost and he、uh, made the decision to go get our corner. Because of that, he wasn't back to help his team. That's probably why we scored, honestly. Ooh. I bet. Great pass for my teammate. I should have hit that. I don't know why I missed. First game on. Might be why. Teammate's got. Nice. Wait on a touch. Nice. Take this up our corner. Hopefully that spawns. It does. Nice block. Over a demo on their last. Ooh, if he would have grabbed that boost and then turned, I probably would have had him for that demo because I was playing the fact that he would probably grab that boost and then go defend. He actually was smart. It's a great pass, great block as well. Get the bump, give my teammate some free space to work with. He's gonna get that boost. No point in me pushing for that too hard. Let's get a soft touch here, set my teammate up to be able to get the ball easier, then grab that boost. Nice. Could come down for our teammate. I can't go for that. I'm last man, so can't really commit for a, a, a shot there. Go again. Went again there because my teammate didn't turn for the pass, so no point in just leaving that for the、uh, other team. Might as well go for another touch if my teammate isn't going for the pass. Great pass. Let's go. Even though my other teammate was up for that, our guy on the backboard saw for sure. If he hits this, it's a free ball. So even though he's up, he doesn't really care because he knows if he gets it past him, even if he's out playing our teammate, it's a completely free shot for me. It's a great pass from B. Back up B in the net. Should have that. Follow this up for him. Didn't look like he had control of that anymore. I kind of did after I already took it. He might have been able to get another touch, but no harm, no foul. It's a great pass again. These guys have, these guys have got some good、uh, infield passing going on right now. Yeah, that's a great pass. Not much you can do about that. Teammate's touch、uh, could have been better off the sidewall. It probably didn't even need to hit it off the sidewall. Probably could have just shattered it down to the ground into the corner. That's about the only thing I could think of that could have made us avoid that. I'm not gonna go for that because, again, I'm third man. I don't want to do anything too risky there. If I could have beat that last guy who went, it could have been a goal for us because their last man went for the ball, as I was just saying you shouldn't do in most scenarios. Uh oh, is he scoring that? Nice. I should have had a better touch off the sidewall earlier when I got that pass. Probably should have hit it backboard or actually put it on, on target with some, some force. Just sort of mistouched it. Let's see what B does here. If he leaves it for me or if he decides to go for it. And he decided to go for it, so. Soft touch, I can follow it up myself. Ooh, I was trying to hit it around him. Again, teammate didn't need to make that touch that he made there. Pass this back to my teammate. It's up high, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, our pass backs weren't the cleanest there between me and, me and B. Who's going for this? B's got 
Let's see what he's doing. Off the ceiling. I'm gonna wait. Got that. I go up for this. Beat both people, and that goes mid off the corner. Actually, somebody got back. Luckily for them. Hit that. See what happens. Not too much uh, wrong could come from hitting that. So we'll go for it. See if we can make a play happen. Teammate can have that back in the corner. Bring it all the way back. Grab that boost. There you go. Good play. Teammate rotates right in front of me. Don't like that, but can't control what your teammates do. You can only control what you do. At that point, after he rotates past me, I'm just going to fill the, the third man position because he's taking the second man position. That's all you can do. No point getting mad at something you can't control. This should be free. Be middle in case he misses a shot. Nice job. Nice. GG. Let's get into the next game. <clears throat> that one felt pretty quick. It was like five minutes, so we might be able to play three today. We'll see. All right, game two on the beautiful DFH Stadium. Look at that stick drift just wobbling my camera. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Go for a solid kickoff here. Decent. Bumped him. I might actually be able to get that boost. He got it, but he had to abandon the ball in order to get that boost, so we'll take it. Nice clear over to both people there. Probably just going to take this around his backboard, so there's no point in us chasing him around. My teammate's over there. Very well done. Oh, and he dunks him in. Beautiful. That's why it's really uh, important to know your limits on a ball, on a challenge, you know? A lot of people might make the mistake of chasing that guy all the way from that side of the field to that side of the field. In which case, you would have been cutting off... Uh, I would have cut off my teammate. He would have never scored that beautiful, beautiful goal. See if he can get one more hit. Oh, that's nice. Take it to the ceiling. Not the best first touch. Almost got back underneath it though. First touch needed to be a little lighter so it didn't hit the ceiling on that ceiling shot. Nice. Nice backboard clear. Should have that pretty easy. Nice. Bang. Oh, I'm gonna get dunked. I noticed I was going to get dunked the last second there, so I didn't flip into it. Because if I would have flipped into it, I would have completely just hit the ball into him. And I would have came back to our half. Because I didn't flip, I was able to just kind of soft, softly 50 it with him. Rather than just hit it straight into his car to be deflected back to our half. But we got him pretty boost started at this point. Let's try to keep as much pressure as we can now. Ooh, and there you go. Boost starve him. Puts him in awkward positions. Makes defense even harder than it already is. And the own goal. Ooh, wanted that demo. Teammates should have that under control. No need for me to go. I'll just rotate around the third man as I initially should have been. Watch this. Okay. <laughs> Alright, on me. <laughs> Dude, I, I mess around one time and I get punished. I thought he was going to take it to the ceiling, but he actually went for the air dribble. I thought he was going to go for a ceiling shot there. Pass, maybe? Maybe a pass back? Close. I just want to go for that touch because my mad reflex wasn't going to be in position to challenge that in time. So I didn't want to just give him a free touch there. That's a nice shot. Dang. Okay. So I messed around one time and they got some momentum and now it's a tie game. Got to stay focused. Got to try hard the whole time, man. Not allowed to have fun if you're trying to rank up. <laughs> That's not true. He's got to have smarter fun. Oh, close. Might bounce mid, though. Read it. Oh, I couldn't bump him. Wait and see what happens here. 
speed's gonna have next touch so let me wait on it cover the net in case he shoots it's a good hit around me he's gonna go for the bump so i'll play the clear my teammate can't really go since he's gonna get bumped now i'll just drive challenge him since he's easily gonna get that past me no point but completely committing to that by flipping into it that's probably a goal teammate needed to uh clear that to the side rather than straight in front of the net right that's still in a completely scoreable position unfortunate unfortunate Wait on his touch. It looks like he might hit it to the sidewall, so I'll position there in case he does. Wait on speed's probable bang. There it is. Hit it safely to the corner for a sec. Actually, that's not the, the bounce I was reading. Grab the boost, look for the pass. He might still have the pass. So let's chill over here. Steal their boost, go for a demo. Nice. Ah. Gotta be rotating, boys. Nice block. Gonna beat me to that ball, so there's no point in me going. Good job waiting midfield. Trying to be on the receiving end of a touch. Always good to uh, try to receive your teammates' touches. Off the sidewall, maybe, for my teammate? Nice, he's there. Again, we're going for balls that aren't our balls to go for. So we're not giving each other the chances we, we see. Because we're taking our, our chances from ourselves. Should come off the sidewall for my teammate. Ah, didn't quite. Came off the corner, or must have came off the corner. Nice, he missed. I'm backwards, so I can't go for that. Somebody should have rotated in and, and gone for that for me. Secure our corner real quick. Play the backboard. Never mind. Oh, that's a good touch. I was going to play that to our corner so our teammate could go for it. They're just killing the clock right now. Could be good. Mid. Ooh, good try. Damn, that was the fastest leave I think I've ever seen, bro. I got the doink to a mid, but like it kind of hit the ground right in front of him as soon as the clock hit zero. So he couldn't really do anything with it. But man, I swear he might have left before the game even ended. That was lightning quick, bro. But all right, let's play one more. Anytime I go one on one, I usually try to play one more, see if I can go two and one, get a positive, rec positive record for the video. Hopefully, we can and we don't get a negative record. Okay, so he must not have left before the game was over because he's in the game. He didn't get a ban. Come on, Black. Show us your moves. You got that? Decent. Damn, I should have gone for that before he went up for it. I was just awkwardly. Um, just at an awkward angle where I couldn't really go for that at any point. I, I couldn't have a clean aerial at that ball. It was just kind of straight behind my car. So I hesitated. Got punished for it. See if I can beat them. Got a demo, that's good. Keep the play going. I actually love that that bump. It gives me gets me back quicker. Nice way to play the uh, different option than me. Nice, nicely done to get it downfield, boys. The double whiff. I can't really commit though. Watch the demo. Just trying to hit it there to throw off their read that they're they're obviously going to be waiting for us to do something there. Or they're waiting for the ball to come to them. So just try to throw off their positioning there. Try to dunk them there. That's a double commit. It could be good for us, but 
That was a pretty good challenge either way. Put it off the backboard. Wasn't the best pass by me. It could have been a lot more mid. It's honestly my fault we didn't get a goal there. Scorable shot or could have been a better touch in general. Could have been another, you know, could have been anything better, but that could have been an initial goal for me if I just hit that pass better. Nice. Ah. Go for a demo on their last. Ooh, we hit the brakes. Damn, good passes. Bro, this is so crazy. <laughs> Why is this so crazy? My game is dying. <laughs> what does that even mean? Literally can't see name tags. Uh-oh, let's take advantage, boys. He may, has a chance to get that mid boost, so I'll leave it for him. Ah. Mm, tough read there. I knew it was coming down, but that was tough. Gotta be aggressive. We're two goals down, so need to try. Need to start trying to get them back. Ooh, close. Might be a goal. Nice. I noticed that first guy that was up was whiffing, so I just set up to take a nice shot. Got it. Sank it. He actually left me that boost. <laughs> and didn't see that coming. Ah, I wanted the wave dash there. Good try. Might fake him. Oh, they're back. I should have known they'd be back. Shouldn't have gone for that weak shot. I'm gonna wait. Because if I go to catch that ball, he's gonna have a free challenge on me. Versus if I let my teammate take that ball, he can't challenge him. So leaving that for my teammates is the better play there. If I would have took it, John would have been able to challenge me. Anybody able to turn? Nice, man. Good dunk. 40 seconds. We got to try to keep the ball in, in their half as much as possible right now. Good air dribble. Try to center this. Actually, a really good center, but my teammate was awkwardly going for the shot from their corner for some reason. I'm not sure really how that happened, but could have been a good opportunity. Fake this hit. Oh, he's, he's fully committed to getting that touch. He didn't care what I was doing. Oh, wow. Close. Oh, keep it up. Should be teammates ball. He's not there though. I can't really do anything about that. GG. Alright, boys. So we went uh one and two. One and two. Ooh, we should have we should have won that second game. That was kind of on me. I kinda of threw that. <laughs> you gotta you gotta you gotta stay focused, you know. Sometimes ooh, sometimes you think they're going for the ceiling shot, but really they're going for the air dribble, so you know, preemptively trying to challenge them off the ceiling might not be the best option <laughs> to be fair though to be fair i thought he was going to set up that shot a lot quicker and I, my original goal was just going to be to drive up the wall drive up the ceiling and back down the wall 
and just fake the ceiling challenge to make him freaked out but then he took so long to set up so i was like oh okay i'm already up here i gotta go meet him and then he didn't even go for the ceiling shot he went for the air dribble i'm just making excuses i'm just joking around it was completely my bad on that second game play through gave him momentum they came back and won but hopefully you still learned something because you know in all of our mistakes that we made we tried to point out what we should have done better what we could have done better not only do i hope that that helps you guys learn something but i hope it helps me get better as well because lately i've taken that mindset of blame yourself try to always find what you could have done better and that really is uh the only way to really get better at rocket league because you can't control what your teammates do so there's no point constantly blaming your teammates for what went wrong when you have no control over them so just try to improve yourself and what you can control and and you know that'll actually help you get better and rank up so if you like the video guys be sure to like the video subscribe for more content you guys have been killing it lately i appreciate all the support and i'll see you guys in the next one have a great day